This tutorial covers how to add rhinestones to an existing vector image and also how to use the centerline trace for this as well. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, I'm going to actually go through my template browser this time, which is part of the Instant Designer. Um, this has all of our Action Illustrated artwork on it. You don't necessarily need to do this part, but this is how I'm going to grab my uh, vector image. I know which one I'm going for, so I'm just going to go ahead and type that in here, just like a swirl. There we go, and I'm going to pull that up into Corel. So this is clean vector artwork. Um, I chose something that's somewhat uh, simple, um, just like a silhouetted shape like this. So I can go ahead and add my rhinestones to it by clicking on this. So it adds rhinestones to all the, the paths here. Um, you can see there's a lot of overlapping red shapes. So something like this where there's so many, rather than going through here and individually deleting and tweaking them using my um, rhinestones tool, I would just go ahead and hit remove overlapping rhinestones all at once. Um, I can still come in here and tweak things slightly, like things look a little choppy over here. So I can then take in my, um, actually, first maybe I'd want to go ahead and hit my points. So if I use my rhinestone corner tool and hit some of my points that I think are important, I think that, uh, let's see, everything seems to be looking actually okay. So when I did that, it adjusted all the stones slightly, so then I would just have to remove them again. Um, and see, now it tweaked that a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and add one there, too. There, I think that that looks pretty good. All right, so I remove overlapping rhinestones all at once, and then I could come down here with my rhinestones tool and tweak it and add other ones. Ooh, maybe I'll make it like connect like that. There we go. So this is how you could add rhinestones to like an existing design already. Um, so this would take some tweaking. Uh, but the other option that I have uh, is to, I'm going to open that same image. And I'm going to do what we did with the text during the last um, tutorial where I do a centerline trace. There it is. So I'm going to take this, and if it's the size I want it to be, I would go ahead and convert to bitmap. So that is going to give us, so it's like a photograph again. And then I'm going to do a trace bitmap center line trace and choose line drawing. This is going to take the centermost part of all these swirls and add one vector line to it. So see how different that looks from what we were just working with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. It drops me into Corel. Now I can go ahead and add rhinestones to this. And so see how this is different than what we were working with last time. And so just depending on what kind of, how many stones you want to use and what kind of design you're interested in um, ending up with. I think I need to ungroup this in order to tweak this. There we go. Un, I'm going to ungroup this. So I can come in here and do a couple different things. So you can see that when it does an auto trace like that, it's not necessarily perfect uh, by any means. So I can come in here and like delete out a bunch of notes if I want to, um, just because I was noticing that this one in particular wasn't very round. There we go. There, yeah, that doesn't actually look too bad. So I could really spend a little bit of time in here, come in here, tweak things just so. You'll notice here I have very uh, few overlapping rhinestones. So rather than using the remove overlapping rhinestones button the way I did last time, I would probably prefer just to come in here and tweak these manually. There we go. So this is how your options that you can do kind of this stuff. When, if you wanted to do the convert to bitmap and then centerline trace, it really only works with one color objects like this. Um, I don't think that you could take a full-fledged mascot and do something like that. Um, but it really just depends on what your image is. So now you can actually see, I'm going to put these side by side, the difference between con taking the same vector shape but applying rhinestones to it differently. Oops. 
There we go. So in this way, we did the center line trace. They're like just single line swirls, which actually is uh, very appropriate for rhinestones. Or we can do this way where it's, we took our regular vector shape, so it's doing like the full-fledged double outlines. So they're just a, difference, a different way to do the same kind of thing with different results. So that is how you could add rhinestones to a pre-existing vector file.